Hey guys, welcome back to Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 V Generation. Ow, I just hit my headphones. This is DJ here, Gamer Girl, signing on. So, in the last episode, uh, we basically found out that Pishi is Yellow Heart. Even though I could technically all I technically already knew because it was obvious what she did to get away from Ray. Okay. I had a feel in it with her. Not to mention she got kidnapped by Inanna Death, all of a sudden, Yellowheart shows up. It was obvious. <laughs> uh, we're actually about to go and get her back, but first, time for the depth station. Good morning! Or is it the evening? Um, it's time for today's news! Today's hosts are Plutia and myself. Let's report real good, Vert. <sighs> so I'm just Vert again. I give up. Let's move forward. Okay, so here's story number one. A rodent mascot has come to Planet Tune. He claims to be the best rodent mascot in all of game industry, and is staying in Planet Tune's Basilicom. We carried him in. He didn't come to our home himself. To get a glimpse of this rodent, a throng of people outside of the Basilicom obviously did not gather, so the Basilicom is as quiet as ever. Thank you, Stella. Mr. Rat isn't very cute at all, huh? I have no comment. Okie dokie, next! Four Goddesses Online 2 is about to have an open beta! Finally, the second incarnation of that popular online game has opened its gates to beta testing! The beta began last week, so I have unfortunately only been able to put in about 150 hours. I expect nothing but perfection. Waiting for the retail launch will be challenging for me. Oh, I see. Wait, it just started last week, but you put in 150 hours? Yes, is something to miss? Um, well, one day is 24 hours. And there are seven days in a week, so... Bleh, I hate math. So let's move on. Here's our final headline. Yay! Uh, Plutia, please read this. We have breaking news. Huh? I read this one now? Um... The CPU of Leanbox Greenheart is involved in a scandal? Pardon? What is this? I recall no such scandal. In the magazine Weekly Leanbox Live, there's gonna be a risque photo spread of Greenheart. Yes, that photo shoot did happen, but still. And the profile section has her three sizes, of course, but it has also printed her real age. What? Yikes! Yikes! That was a surprise! Oh, what is this atrocity? Public revealing the ladies! No, a CPU's real age is truly outrageous! I cannot remain here a moment longer. Huh? Are you going home? Yes, I must stop the presses. And I also intend to destroy the publisher along the way. Oh, okay. Do your best! Um, can I end this now? Nod, nod. Esty is nodding at me, so... That's all for today. Bye-bye! Oh, boy. <laughs> Wallet Crusher Net. It's here again! The most amazing mail order shopping program ever! What a crusher nap! With our exhilarating lineup, you'll be on the road to bankruptcy in no time flat. Today's recommendation is this the name that says it all it's the SP Charger! Our guest today is also will also offer, offer our product testimonial for us. 
Will this item assist those who seek it, who seek an all-night gaming session? Wow, there, swag vulture. I didn't get to introduce you. Well, does it or does it not help one to play games all night long? If so, even during a long-term raid going late into the evening, I will be able to remain focused. Uh, well, actually, I had actually thought to ask you all that. It's not an upper, though. Why then? There's no point to this product. I don't have a response prepared. It's a medicine that, to restore SP, as it's clearly labeled clearly states. Skill usage, you say? So one skill is for game marathoning without sleep could be restored. I have no idea. Wait, are those even skills? I'm surprised you haven't tried this out before. You're supposed to be our testimonial. I have yet to try it, but there is a large scale raid coming up on coming up in Four Goddesses Online, you see. I know nothing about that. The guild that takes first place in the event will receive a super rare mount of some kind. If this product could help me, I would have bought them in bulk. Hmm. But, Vert, you can last a couple of nights without sleep anyway, right? You don't need this item at all. It is a large-scale event, silly. The items would not have been for me, rather my fellow guild members. Okay, distribute them however. That is why I must know if these will remain effective all night. That is the most important part. If it works, I will buy several. More than you can imagine. Well, it restores SP, so... I mean, it probably works. Yeah? I will take them. Give me 1,024. Give me 1,024. Uh, 1,024. I don't know why. I was reading that all sorts of wrong. That's a lot. Um, so, as you can see, even CPUs rely on, rely on this product. So buy a set at this great price. Hurry up and box my items. Quickly now. Uh, you gotta pipe down, Ver. Just let me land a sale, okay? I had no idea. This product is gonna be a real hit thanks to Ver's reaction. Sure. Thanks for your patronage. And now the million up quiz. Millionep Quiz! Welcome to Millionep Quiz. This is our seventh episode. And guess what? Only three more. Wow, so the game's almost over? Well, sure, but I don't know saying that so direct. I don't know about saying that so directly. Huh? So I shouldn't say it? What's done is done. Whatever, I'll pretend I didn't hear you and start the quizzing. Ready, set, quiz! Question one. Which of these individuals is a Southpaw? Who of the following is left-handed? I think that's right. Psst. Oh, okay, so... Question two. Who has the longest side of burns in their HCD form? Blonde. Now we're getting into questions I don't know if... What is the, a pure maiden? <laughs> okay, that's it. Those are a bit more difficult, huh? Unless you look real close, you would never know if someone is a lefty or a righty. Well, if they messed up, players can load their last save and try again, I guess. Oh, well, see you later. I hope you stayed recently. Bye bye. Oi, vey. Okay. We're going to Eden. To get Peachy back. At the magma cave. Let's skip through this. to be awesome. All right, another one of these. This will lead to your defeat. My turn. 
This. <sighs> Come here. It's your fault for being caught off guard. Hmm. Now's our chance. Let's my Animals. turn. That level up. Hey, Neptune, level it up. Surprise attack! Success. My turn. Found an item. Jump, jump, <laughs> boing. I might still be a bit overpowered, so hopefully the boss won't be too much of a problem. Uh, depending on who it is, of course. <laughs> Let's end this. Level up! Level up! Because certain Jump. enemies are Jump. annoying Jump. to deal with. Jump. Like a Nana Death. A Nana Death can be so annoying depending on who is who is attacking. Ooh, looks neat. It's your fault for being caught off guard. Level I feel more level up. <sighs> Seriously? Nobody's been gaining any new skills since they hit 90. This will lead to your defeat. Let's end this quick. No. <sighs> I mean, they could very well learn a new skill when they go to hit max. We've walked like the whole world map by now. I think it's much farther? I'm so tired. But I'll keep trying my best. Cause it's all for Pico. I should have said so sooner, but I think we should have brought one of them along to show us the way. But Agnes is useless in a fight, and the rodent is still receiving treatment. So... Poppy paste? No way, Jose. If that loud doofus were here with us, my ears would be like... Ee! Yeah, I'd rather not have him here. We have enough loud people as it is. Plus, we would really stand out if we brought such a massive robot along. B but he's such a strong and cool giant robot who loves fighting, so battles might become easier. Not really. We did a rush job fixing him, so his outer hull is just paper mache. Huh? Really? Yeah, if I had to assign a defense parameter to him, it'd be like... 200. That's so low. When we get back, maybe I'll tune him up real good. Don't be a fool. We don't know when he might flip out and go on another Rampage World Tour. Not a shred of tension here, huh? Is it always like this with them? You have no idea. <laughs> I think it's buckets of fun. What a carefree lot of freeloaders. Did you come here for a picnic? Of course it's you. Who's there? Well, that's what the trope demands, I say, but come on. I think we already know. Kampa? Aya? Please get back. All right. I forgot about this guy. You had? How cruel, Lady Blonde. I said not to freaking call me that! Lonnie, you get mad so easily. Honestly, his timing couldn't be worse. Indeed. If those monsters appear, our hands will be tied. Of course, if we truly must, we can take the ruthless route. Rejected. That's not a very protagonist mindset. I don't want to do that either. As I expected. If any of us wanted to, we would have a long time ago. But then, what to do now? Worst case scenario, we send Plutia and the others ahead of us. The three of us are enough to hold them off. <laughs> don't get carried away, CPUs. What do you mean? I don't need my daughters to help me against the likes of you. I alone am more than enough for the task. What the 
hell? Now who's getting carried away? You've lost to us like one gajillion times already. Uh-huh. One gajillion. I'm not the same as I was all those other times. Different training, different spirit, different ideals, different resolve. I'm different this time. I don't quite get his fixation on being different. But I will admit that he does seem quite spirited. Um, can we really trust him? Of course not. How many times are you all gonna let these people fool you? Even though you're the one who's been fooled like one gajillion times, Noir. Uh-huh. One gajillion. What? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm, well, it hasn't happened to me the most, right? Stop messing around. Whatever this human-shaped asshole is planning, we gotta beat down whatever pops up. We just said we can't do that! Blonde probably will not listen to reason at this point. The ideal path for us is to defeat him before he has the opportunity to pull any of his tricks. Got it. Just keep an eye on your surroundings. Ready? CPUs! In order to grow old with my daughters in peace, I will have you die right here! I'll show you the power of Louise's CPU! My turn! Again? HGD, you idiots! I'll show you the power of a CPU! You're in the way! Yeah. Here I go! Oh, you're annoying! Nep, your time to get serious! Transformation complete! Say! Eat this! Impersonate! You're wide now, open! What shall I now I am serious! Transformation complete! Now prepare yourself! Too slow! Prepare you! I won't let you escape! Impertinent! My best action! Now I'm pissed! Time to go crazy! Processor unit, set complete! Day up! Here I come! I'll destroy you! Not bad. Not I will not bad. let you have it your way! Too slow! Impertinent! Set. Prepare yourself! Hey! T-Photon! I'm ready anytime! Here I come! Not you! Bad. I'll destroy you! Fair shot! I'm ready whenever! Here I go! Yeah! Yeah! I'll cut you in two! It's my turn! This! I've got Not you! Bad. This! I'll Are you, you ready? Too slow! Too slow! Hey! T-Photon! Not bad! Is that I'll all? This. Take this! Not bad. Stay up! Impertinent! Time to go full force! Not Finally! Bad. Yeah! Impertinent! Yeah. Yeah. I'll cut you in two! I'll finish this in one go! Time to win! Impertinent! I am ready! Now, let's go! This should be easy! I'll teach you a lesson! I'll end this! You! Here I come! Impertinent! Oh, that explains it! His tech is down! Time to go full force! Not bad! I will not let you have it your way! Take this! Not bad! Prepare your parents! T-Photon! Not Ready bad! Ready anytime! Weak! I've got you! Set! Set! Not bad! Fight through! Ready whenever! Dual Edge! <laughs> Take this! And this! And this! I'll teach you a lesson. Come on! Stay up! Slice it fast! I will not let you have it your way. Not bad. Thanks. Impertinent! Then can you survive My this? expensive mech suit failed? A victory of beauty, do you not think so? Level up! Level up! I think I... Level up! I... My power... Level up! Level up! Yay! For my club. Looks like my level went up! <laughs> I couldn't win after all. <sighs> he was quite the opponent. Really? We kind of trashed him. Yes. Thankfully, those monsters really didn't come out. <sighs> My time has come, has it? 
Looking back, it wasn't a bad life. Uh, we're not gonna whack ya. My only regret is leaving behind my daughters. CPUs, it is a selfish request, but please hear me out. We're not gonna whack ya. Consider it the dying wish of an old man. We just said that we aren't going to kill you. Yeah, I'll just play with you and torture you until you come real close. Uh, someone restrain Plutia, please. You are? <laughs> I said a funny joke. Nope, not laughing, pal. I can't even force it, Plutie. <laughs> Ignoring a dying man's last words. How heartless of you. You won't back down, will you? Listen! We have no intention of... <coughs> Yuck among us! They're here! <sighs> you planned to trick us all along, didn't you? Hmm. They look a bit different compared to the last time, though. No! I told you not to come out! If you were to fall into the CPU's hands, I... We're not gonna do anything. How many times do we have to say it? But if he keeps saying it, maybe I'll want to do it. Again, Plutia, that's not actually a joke that you're making. Oh! Squee, squee. I see. You were that worried about me. I'm such a lucky father. They aren't trying to attack us. Oh, um, please, do not kill our dear father. We said we're not gonna. If you keep saying that stuff, even benevolent old me is gonna get angry. Uh, I, uh, I am sorry. Huh? Hang on. This kid, uh, is something the matter? Huh? No way! It's totally speaking human, you guys! Don't shout like that! Look, you frighten my daughters! But come on, man! Anyone would scream from something this insane! Um, were you all able to speak the whole time? Yo, we only recently became able to talk again. Father kindly taught us constantly. It is all thanks to him! No, my dears. It's only possible because of your hard work. Well, it helps that we can communicate now, I guess. I'm sure you're being forced to listen to what this man says, but there's no reason to protect him. Forced? No, no! Of course you are, right? Brainwashing, drugs, you know. Oh, oh, oh! Maybe torture! Lydia. Please don't say that with such a bright smile. We are not being forced. That is the truth. What kind of man do you take me for? Who would do such inhumane things? Is not their very existence an inhumane thing? That... Um... But... Our father is a nice man. He's very kind. Darlings. So, just throwing this out there, but maybe what's actually going on isn't what we thought? We need to ask for more details. In that case, um, Mr. Bad, we're going to heal you a little. Leave the nursing to me. Oh, Kampa and Aya, you're both here? Jeez, you told us to stay back and then completely forgot about us? Your memory sucks. Th that's not what happened. It was just a very frantic moment and, um, well... Oh, yeah. You two are here. I did forget. Lady Plutia. Blue Blue, you're a meanie. Uh, if you're going to heal me, uh, could you please get on with it? Ah, I am now sensible enough to conduct more business. Please don't move around too much just yet. We have a lot of questions to ask. Oh, an all-caps dialogue is annoying to read, so we're gonna use normal text from here on out. <laughs> well, we'll try to answer anything you ask. It's hard to do this if you're so nervous. 
sorry. You've been our father's enemy for a long time, is all. Boo! We didn't do anything bad. It cannot be helped, I suppose. For now, please confirm this. You were kidnapped by the Seven Sages, and then forced to use a CPU memory, turning you into monsters, correct? Yes, that's right! We were almost kidnapped, too, so it's not like I can pretend this is someone else's problem. And yet, you love this man and call him your father. I don't get why. Um, well, there are about 20 of us, but... That many? You don't have to apologize. Hey! Don't harass my children! Sister, 20 isn't very precise. They're upset because you didn't give them the exact number. Oh, you're right. There are 22 of us. I wasn't mad about the number. I mean, I wasn't mad to begin with. Okay, uh, nobody cares, Noir. The conversation can't continue. Ignore her and continue. So, um, we were orphans or poor. Or were seen as unpleasant by our old families. Were you targeting specific types of children? <laughs> we weren't seeking ransoms. We wanted to avoid any undue attention. And your ultimate goal was to make a CPU that would follow your commands, correct? Yes, that is correct. Um, the more I think about it... The more I think I feel so disgusted by it. Not now, Plutie. Suppress it. Even though he mutated you into that form for his own ends, you don't hate him? At first we did, very much so. We were already unfortunate kids, and then we turned into this. But then our father showed us that he wanted to take good care of us. Like we were his real daughters. My wife passed away when I was young. I've lived a long life without any children of my own. It was only natural that parental feelings would surface after coming across such pleasant daughters. Are you sure you don't have some kind of really creepy fetish, Captain Comover? A fetish? How rude! The appearance means nothing! It's the heart! It's all a matter of the heart! He cooked us yummy food and gave us gifts on our birthdays. We were able to experience everyday joys. He also bathed us and would even sleep in our beds with us. Okay, yeah. Fetish. It is not! Give it a rest! So after being treated with such kindness, you naturally came to love him back. Even so, I don't really agree with any of this. Yeah! He could have done all that nice stuff when they were like normal people. Lady Plutia, please calm down. I beg of you, don't get angry. Plu Plu, you should really stop. Miffy's about to cry. It is as you say. My actions are wholly inexcusable. Over time, my daughters learn to smile again. But I still see on their faces how they yearn to be human. That's... Forgiveness won't come just because you feel remorse. Punishment must be doled out in full. Can I? No, 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 no! Stay strong, Iffy. Pull yourself together. Please wait. Father is doing his best to find a way to get us back to normal. Here I... Is that true? Yes. He said we will never be able to know true happiness in these forms. Little by little, it's happening. See? We can talk now. That must explain the change in your appearances as well. And lately, he has forbidden us from fighting anyone. And... and... Okay. I think we get it now. I can never atone for my deeds. But that is what I was going to ask of you before you end my life. I was going to ask if you could continue my research and turn them back to normal. What a convenient idea. Maybe you shouldn't have screwed them up in the first place. I have nothing to counter with. So please, we're begging you. Don't kill our father. Please don't. We beg of you. There's 
still going on about that. That's the deal, so what do we do, Plutie? Um... We'll leave the old man alone for now. You will? Oh, awesome. Thank goodness. You're going to look the other way for me? Like the very first thing we said was that we weren't going to kill you. Jeez. All of you kids, go to Last Station's Facilicom. I'll send word that you're coming. Last Station? Why? You won't make much progress with a single researcher. It can't be helped, so we'll cooperate with you. Is that... all right? I just said it can't be helped. My nation is the most advanced in terms of technology and research. I can't let that slide. In terms of CPU data, my nation knows more than any other. Then my nation shall provide the necessary financial backing. Cool. Then Planetoon will... Uh, wait. Can we do anything? Don't look at me. If you need a nurse, I can do that. I can make adorable stuffed animals that every little girl will want. Everyone, thank you. I owe you everything. We're not doing this for you. It's for the kids. Don't get the wrong idea. <gasps> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Think nothing of it. This turned into a side quest of sorts, but it wraps up that arc nicely. Yep, all we gotta do now is get Pico back. <sighs> so that's what it was. He should have consulted with us. How distant. So, how did it go? You were eavesdropping on Mr. Bad, right? Eavesdropping make it s makes it sound rude. I was... Monitoring him with my ear. Uh, to summarize, he's lo he lost and has joined their cause. Their cause? The CPUs? What? But why? How? The circumstances were complicated. It just means that it's only a matter of time before the CPUs arrive. Uh, oh dear, you're right. What do we do? But thanks to this ridiculously long speech, Batty managed to buy us enough time. Uh, good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Mommy. Oh. Good morning, Sleepyhead. Uh, my head feels all fuzzy. You'll feel all better soon enough. I'm sorry to ask this right after you've woken up, but the bad CPUs are on their way here, so... Go? The CPUs? Okay, I'll go. Good luck! Be careful! Um, wait. Don't stop her. It'll be okay. There's no need to worry. I is it really okay? Whatever ends up happening, I'll get to see something lovely. That doesn't clarify anything. Onward! Found an item. <laughs> Let's the advance it. That was a my level went up. <sighs> okay, give me a second. There we go. Found an item. It's always best to. To make sure everything is ready to go. It's your fault for being caught off guard. Hmm. Oh, what are you? King and king and king and nip. Besides another variation of the skull of the skeleton enemy. Eh, actually, that's all you really are. It's another variation of the skeleton enemy. Just as planned. Let's end this quick. Hmm. Now's our chance. 
Let's end oh. this. What? You only saw my after Let's end image. This that was a Okay, before we head over that way, which I'm pretty sure is the right way, considering there's a safe spot near there. <laughs> now, the what a complete and I feel stronger. Okay. Found an item. far inside, so it can't be much longer now. Uh-huh. I'm sure she's close. Yep. I can feel her. And smell her. Say something normal like you can sense her presence. I'm so happy we'll get to see P again soon. We can't say she'll feel the same. Oh, Neptune! Over there! Is she sleeping? There's Pico! Don't run up to her so carelessly! But it's Pico! She's sleeping. Her posture is a bit different. Maybe they intensified their hold on her mind after we almost got her to remember us last time. Pico! Yo! Pico! At least respond to us. It's me! Kampa! <sighs> Hmm. If you won't listen to us, then... Dude, she's sleeping! Maybe I'll have you recognize us through more physical means. No! She's here! Iffy, please get used to her already. This blue blue is cute too. Once you let her into your heart. No, 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 no! That's impossible! You transformed without permission yet again. But I got so worked up that I simply couldn't hold back anymore. After all, Pico, you want to go up against me in this form, don't you? <sighs> Seriously? She's not even reacting to Sadie? Such confidence. Or maybe you're underestimating me. Or maybe she's asleep! Oh no. Her voice just got lower. I think she's very, very angry. <laughs> Do you think she's... Hey, I said not to get too close. <sighs> I knew it. Hmm? What did you know? That she's asleep. <sighs> huh? Oh, it's sleepy time? <laughs> L Lady Plutia is... Uh-oh, we're done for! That kind of laugh means she's gone beyond anger and all other emotions! Wow, you got all that from her laugh? You mastered the Sadie's handmaiden ability! Thank you, I think. But I really don't need an ability like that at the moment. Why are you sleeping? Wake up already! Huh? Uh, <sighs> the CPUs? What a carefree response. It is unbecoming of a villain to be asleep during such an exciting scene. <sighs> <sighs> Don't fall asleep again as soon as we start talking to you! But I'm sleepy. 
We'll have to wake her up using a different approach. <laughs> Left like this in ages. <laughs> Pishi, you put me in such a good mood. Neptunior, deduce Pluty's mood now. I don't know. It's uncharted territory from here on out. Oh, that's right. I gotta go beat up the wicked CPUs. We're the ones who came here to you. Ugh! <sighs> Even Noir's run out of juice over this. You sure keep things crazy, Pico. Pico? Nope, I'm Yellowheart. We already did this song and dance the last time. Aw, P, did you really forget us? Iffy, you should say something too. Yes, ma'am. Pishi, we were always hanging out when we were kids. Huh? I don't know. Neptune, you said you had some kind of plan to restore her memories, yes? Probably after we beat the crap out of her. Uh, sorta, kinda, yeah, no. But first, we gotta go about this the expected way. Meaning, we must fight her and weaken her, so my brilliant plan will be more effective. Ooh, Neppy is being extreme. Don't you all want to transform? I've been itching to get started for a while now. Ah! Wait just a sec! Damn it! Even when she's a sleepy idiot, she's probably strong as hell. That pisses me off. Yes. I feel the same... No. Even more power coming from her than the first time we met. That creepy robot said he wouldn't make any more of those machines. He lied right to our faces. Add one more to how many times you've been tricked, Noir. But that time it wasn't just me. <laughs> You're all so energetic. How about you, Nebby Jr.? Y yes I'm very full of energy. I know she's strong, but we can't afford to lose now. Do your best, Nep Nep. Please get Pee, -Pee back to normal. That's not my name. I'm Yellowheart! Do, do your best too, Lady Plutia. Leave it to me, Compa. <laughs> Iffy, your voice quivers. It makes me want to play with you a little bit more. <laughs> Sadie, play with Iffy later. Of course, she can be my dessert. But for now, I need to clean my plate of the main course. None of you are listening to me! I'm mad now! I'm gonna beat you up! I will win, and I'll get you back to the way you were, Pico. I can't believe you've forgotten me. Who was so kind to you. For such a naughty little girl, I'll have to dole out a most violent punishment. <laughs> Now then, time to be serious! You're in the way! You're in the way! Impulse Blade! It's my turn! Say! I've got you! Yeah. I'll break you! I will you. not let you have it your way! Say! Prepare yourself! Say! I won't let you escape! You prepared? Here I come! Here I come! I'll smash anything that gets in my... I am ready. Take photon! I'll finish this in one go. Eat this! I've got you! I'll break Finally. you! Here I go! Yeah! Here I go! I'll cut you in two! I'll end this. Take this! Come on! I'll smash anything that I gets in my ready. way! Take this! Prepare your perish! T-Photon! I'll finish this in one go. 
if she were still utilizing that type of machine. Perhaps it malfunctioned. Either way, it works out for us. Aw, this won't do. If she turns into her small form, I won't be allowed to torment her. Restrain yourself a tiny bit. Oh, golly. Looks like the rush job I did on this device wasn't good enough. Well, if I wanted to sound tough, I should say I factored in this outcome as well. W what happened? Did she lose? Hush a moment, dearie. This is the good part. This is where we get to see if they're going to activate the so-called true ending route. Ugh! I can't do it! Aw, I'm small again! It's P! She looks the same as she did the last time we saw her. Right. Her growth stopped at that age because she turned into a CPU. I keep saying you're wrong. Don't call me P. I'm not Pishi. But you are P. You're Pishi. P is P, but I'm not Pishi. What in the world does that mean? It's useless, you two. She was like this the last time. And what should we do? We came prepared for this. You two will be my little helpers. So get ready. Yes, ma'am. I was never told about this. What do you plan to do? Well... Just glue your eyes open and watch. Right, Flutie? Uh-huh. Blah! I can't get big. Are mommy and daddy gonna be angry? Listen up and listen down, Pico. You're Pico. Pico! You got that? No matter what anyone says. Maybe you should use her actual name in this situation. It's cool. Trust me. Pico is Pico. P is Pico? Nuh-uh. I'm Yellowheart. Pishi? You lived with all of us. Me, and Nappy, and Nappy Jr., and Iffy, and Compa. Oh, oh, and Isti. She's watching over our home right now. Nap, Iffy, Compa? No, I don't know you. I've always been with Mommy and Daddy. Be 
for them. You were always with us. We lived in Planetune's Basilicum together, remember? Please remember me. I don't know. I don't know any of it. Neptune, a straightforward approach does not seem feasible. Yeah, I know. I figured she'd play dumb for at least this long. Now we use this thingy, the five-piece set of memories about Pico's time with us that Plutie and I made. It's a big set. <laughs> Five items? You prepared quite a bit for this. Number one. Here, Kampa. What's this? So, you hold this, and then you chase Pishi around with it. I is this my novelty-sized syringe? No, I can't! It's bad and dangerous to point it at unsick people. Ugh! Time for shots! You did it like it was second nature back in the day. Do it! It's for Pishi's sake. Well, if it's for her, then... I'm gonna chase you, P! Her mind has forgotten, but her body remembers. It knows the pain of Kampa's giant syringe well. I think everyone knows the pain of a giant syringe. You're pretty terrible. Next up, um, it's Iffy's turn. Uh, okay, what do I have to do? Take this book-like object and use your mouth to make its contents into sounds. What is this, a sketchbook? Uh, my right hand can split the galaxy in two when filled with Gaia's might. Wait, this is... Yep, that's part of the story you and Pico made up together. Gaia, maybe I know what that is. Nice, she responded to that. Hurry, hurry, read more. No way, I can't do this. How long ago do you think I wrote this nonsense? Please? It's for Pishi! Do your best, Ify! Ugh, fine. I shall use the fallen angel's wings to whirl up the winds of unholy war. Whoa, neat! That sounds so cool! Forced to read your embarrassing past in front of everyone. You know about that, don't you, Blom? <laughs> What a painful sight to behold. Yeah. Hmm. Why is your face getting red? Wait, you got some embarrassing secret like that too? No, I don't. I mean, I haven't come up with a story of my own similar to that or anything. I, I mean it. So far, so good. Take it away, Nep Jr. Oh, okay. Um, what did you bring for me? Neppy Jr.? You get nothing. What? Nothing at all? If you looked harder, I'm sure you could have found something. Oh, this makes me think of something. Um, getting the shaft. Is that it? That? You're having her react to how badly I've been getting treated? And then I end up learning more of those dumb things. What the goodness? I don't want to do this anymore. Finally, time for the prestige. Me! Look at this, Pico. Your favorite. I even warmed it up in my pocket. Huh? Oh, it's pudding! I highly doubt lukewarm pudding is favored by anyone. And this is no ordinary pudding. Look, I even have neps scrawled right on the top. You always made a ruckus unless you got to eat the one that had my name on it. Neptuna's pudding? What? Ugh! My head hurts! P! Uh, is this according to plan? Perhaps her memories are trying to resurface, or... What are you gonna do? Keep going? You bet! I believe in Pico! Bring it home, Plutie! Okie dokie! Look at this, Pishi! Um, a stuffed animal? Is that mine? Yep, and 
it's all yours. I made this one for you. You would always rip it apart. And I fixed it so many times. I destroyed it. And you fixed it? You left it behind when you went away. But I still fixed it up. Because I thought I'd give it back to you when I saw you again. My stuffed animal. You fixed it, Blue? Huh? Pishi? You said my nickname! She remembered? Uh, uh, that's still not enough. We're almost there. This one's gonna be the final blow. I won't let you say you forgot about this rad picture. Ugh. Huh? I drew that? With your own grubby mitts, you used your best drawing skills to draw all of us together. See? We're all on here. Everyone who lived with you in Planetune's Basilicom. I drew this? Everyone's there. Yeah. I drew everyone. Clout and Nepgear and Dippy and Kampa and Histoire and... Pishi! Pee! Pishi! Say my name, Pico. Come on, lay it on me. You were really happy and you gave me lots of praise. When I showed you that drawing, you were really happy, Neptuna. Yeah, that's me, Neptuna! Are you okay, Pico? Crap, did I muck it up? Ugh! Take this, Neptuna! Oh! Thumbnail! It, it's been a while since my solar plexus last suffered your intense headbutt, Pico. Neptuna! It's you! It's really Neptuna! <laughs> so you remember now? What? You headbutt people when you get all happy? <laughs> what a goofus. Aww, this is so wonderful. <laughs> Aww, why Blue crying? It's because of you, idiot. Jeez, we went through so much extra trouble for you. It's P. I finally get to be reunited with P. What? Now everyone's crying. Uh. I'm not crying. <laughs> um, welcome back, Pishi. Welcome back, Pico. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> yep, I'm back. Chapter 8 done. <sighs> Where are we going? Chapter 9 is my last chance. Uh, is this going to be automatic? Yeah. Oh, So this is the ending they got. Oh well, congrats CPUs. Well, what's happening? Don't just nod to yourself. Please tell me. Our girl lost and it appears her memories have returned. A typical predictable happy ending. It, is that so? Then why do you look so happy? My lovely Ray, your face doesn't look at all dissatisfied either. Um, well, I think this is for the best. We were in the wrong after all. So we were. Oh, this is the end. I was having fun for so long, it makes me reluctant to leave. Huh? The end? Of our relationship. Our relationship? What? Uh, but we never even held hands. How can it be ending now? No, no, the Seven Sages, I mean. Oh, oh, okay, of course. Gosh, you phrase things to make them sound so ambiguous. Wait, what? Is it really that surprising? It's just the two of us, plus we lost that girl. There's nothing left for us to do. That's... well, that's true. I can't do anything either. Sure, you can do something. One way or another, the Seven Sages will always survive with you here. That isn't true. Every 
everyone tried their hardest, but because I was so unreliable. <laughs> Showing me that lovely crying face one more time proves to me you gave great customer service. I'm quite positive we will never meet again, but do farewell. Um, you left me. I'm all alone. Again! I'm no good after all, huh? Here, there, anywhere, no matter what I do. No, that's not true. I failed. I've made mistakes. But so many people cooperated with me. I had friends to help me out. Abness? Thanks to your phony info, I suffered so much embarrassment, you dumb fool. Copy paste. Yeah, I'll lot you going to whimper and cower. Can't you lead us in? You have bad memories of everyone. How are you happy with that? Why did you? You can't work worth beans. There's no helping you because you're a middle-aged coot too. Or far. If you can't speak properly, you've no need for that ton. I'll rip it out right now. Mr. Bad? What a waste of my time. If you can't get it together, it causes trouble for us all. Hanana death? We're used to your clumsiness, but I wish you'd think about those of us who have to clean up after you. Huh? Why can't I think of any kind or warm lines they said to me? This is what I need them the most! Oh, why such terrible memories? Uh, do people only say mean things to me? Oh dear... No, this won't do. I just managed to pull myself together. Okay. Yo, party's over, huh? Uh, Quar. Meh, you did your best, right? No need to move around. I don't get it, but whenever you get ringed over here, the other oh, the other you gets way stronger. Thank you for comforting me. I'm fine now. Huh? What's up with you? You lost everything, but you still got such a refreshed look. I did all that I could. I'm going to where the CPUs are. The CPUs? Gonna raid them? In that case. No, I'm going to apologize and explain everything to them. The hell? So you're like giving up? I've done more than enough. Besides, I realized I was wrong. Thank you for helping me, Quar. I'm sorry I can't return the favor somehow. Whoa, 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 hold up. This ain't nowhere near over. I have to go now. If I don't hurry, I'm worried I'll lose my resolve. I said to wait. Listen to me, damn it. Hey, hey, boys, come back. Oh, well, welcome home, everyone. Hmm? Is it just you, Eastwar? Where are the others? Well, Abnus and Water 2 got into a big argument and stormed off. Copypad said something about sweating the sweat of youth, tossed me off his head, and left. Um, but that is not important now. Where is Pishi? What has happened with her? Hee <laughs> we brought her back! Yay! Issy, Issy! Hi! Oh, P hello, Pishi. It has been a while. I said you have not changed at all. And you're still teeny tiny. Yay, squeezy time! Oh, it hurts so much. Do not squeeze me with all your might. <laughs> Pico! Any more of that and it won't end well for her. You'll crush her. Her brain will pop out. Not like it wasn't loud enough in here before. Guess it's only gonna get even noisier. <laughs> this is a fun kind of loud though, isn't it? Sorry to interrupt the family reunion, but... Could you let us in? We're tired. Oopsies. So sorry. Come in, come in! Isty, bring us all the tea. Except for me. I want milk, the strawberry kind. Um... Uh, <laughs> Look, she got smaller! Goodness! Please stop, Pishi! You mustn't squeeze her anymore! I'm on a screenshot. This is 
kind of adorable. Phew, Peachy, you seem to have grown even stronger than before. She has become a CPU after all. Isty, your book is all crumpled. Compared to the joy of seeing her back home, this is- ah! Yay! I got her! Home run! You don't call that a home run. You gotta throw her over to me and then I can get a sport goal. Oh, funny rules. Stop it, both of you! Don't use these stars as a ball to throw around. Especially indoors. Are you okay, Stor? Compared to the joy I feel from seeing her home safe, this is... Ugh. Sooner or later, you're going to get crushed into a tiny ball, into a little ball by this kid. I can protect you on my Basilicom. I already have one freeloader, so what's one more? I... I... I must decline. Ahem. Moving on. Since the situation has calmed down for the time being, shall we discuss a bit about the future? Nip nip pee! Snacks are ready! Let's eat them all up, everyone! Yay! Snacks! Snacks! Hooray! Topa made a cake! Oh yeah! Pishy hasn't had a taste of Compa's delicious cake before! It's so good in about your face! Your eyes would explode from your skull and culinary tastiness! Nip nip, you're exaggerating! My eyes will explode? No! Scary! Let's ignore that side of the room and have our own discussion. Certainly. Sorry, my sister is... Well, I'm just... Sorry. Having saved the girl, we can assume that we have eliminated Eden? Yeah, and nobody would deny that we've basically gotten rid of the Seven Sages now, too. I'm a little worried but about where that creepy robot went, but... Good golly, gee whiz! This is a world-class cake, Kampa. You're in top form today! Aw, silly nep nep. Let me wipe some of the icing off your face, okay? Are you okay? My eyes won't explode? You'll be fine. Open up and say ah. Anyway, um... I'm so, so sorry. Please don't pay any attention to my sister or those around her. So our main threat and the villains responsible for it are gone, right? Right. But to be blunt, we are each other's enemies, too. I don't feel like finding any of you now. <laughs> if you act so relaxed, Last Station will end up ruling all game industry. <laughs> there she goes with her blustering again. So, you get lonely easy, easily, but you want to go back to being all by yourself again? Do whatever you want. Who says I get lonely easily? What do you mean again? Um, so basically, there's nothing in particular that we need to do, right? Yes, we can all return to our respective nations and continue working as normal. Okay, so that means it's time to relax, everyone. Whoa, you already wolfed down that piece of cake, Lady Plutia? Yeah, but Peachy took most of it. Give me yours too, Neptuna! Not happening, Squirt. This cake is part of my salary. Peachy, there are three- there are more slices left. No, I want Neptunas! If you ask me, they only seem to know how to work hard at, re at relaxing. Plutia, do you intend to skip out on work by using that same old excuse? No, I was thinking about taking it easy while doing my job is all. What's the difference? Either way, you're slacking off. Nuh-uh! If we try our best and work really hard, that means Neppy and Neppy Jr. will go home sooner! Oh. And if that happens right after Peachy came back home, it would be so sad. Lady Plutia. That's a fair point. To think of a life without Neptune at my side. No, just imagining it makes me want to rip my heart right out of my gigantic chest. Unnecessary adjective. But, Plutia, the two of them must return home eventually. The situation of Nether Mansion is far from favorable. Aww, I know. I know, but can't we just take our time? I cannot stop you. You, ha you all have worked very hard for quite a while. A break is long overdue. Aww, you're the best, Isty. 
Thank you both very much, Istor and Plutia. How kind of you, Lady Plutia. If possible, try to always be this kind. Forever. I'm a bit jealous. Plutia cares about you so much. Yeah, not like those people even notice or appreciate it. Come on, Pico, you little fatty! That's your third slice, isn't it? No... One, two, four! It's my fourth! Three comes after two, you dingus! Please don't eat everyone else's food! Cool! Looking at the world like this, game industry is quite okay. fast. So, is there... Okay. Okay, Pico, we're going out for a bit. Going now? Where? Somewhere to play? We aren't going to play. We're going to work so hard. Work? Neptuna and Pluto work? <laughs> you tell bad eyes. Hey now, it's no joke. We're quite adult and serious. <sighs> Not even young children see you as anything but jokes. Yes, children are brutally honest. By the way, can you transform anymore? Transform? You mean get bigger, right? Yeah, if not, you'll be in our way. We'll have to leave you behind. Huh? I don't want to get left behind. Uh, um, bigger, go! I did it! Yay! Wow! Good job, PC! She's jumping up and down for joy. It's so hard, twins. Hm. Having them bounce around in front of my face like this, am I being harassed? It's no different from what you were doing to us before. <sighs> this is good, isn't it? Peachy can come with us now. Uh-huh. Well, she's so dumb as a little rock, so that kind of gives me pause. She'll be just fine. If she sticks by you, there won't be anything to worry about. Oh, that makes sense. Wait, no it doesn't. What do you mean? Come on, hurry up! Let's go or I'll leave you all behind! Yay! We got Peachy! Hmm... Hmm... Uh, what are you looking at? I didn't do anything. That was all automatic. And now there's a little Peachy doll in the background. What are you three plotting now? Don't be mean to Peachy! It's something like- it's nothing like that. Something is bothering me. What is it? Well, the kid remembered all of you, but... Does she remember the three of us? Uh, good question. None of you were around her all that much, and her brain is like a dying candle. Don't call me names. I'm smarter than you, Neptuna. Okay, let's go for a test. Peachy, who's this lady? Uh, I'm getting nervous over something pointless. Um, uh, nowhere. Yeah, close enough. I'll take it. I'm up next. I've barely spoken with you, so I wonder. Um, the runner with white strawberry cake lady. Oh, blonde. You're blonde. Yes, although I'm not satisfied with how you remembered me. I am the last one. Hmm, uh... Wait, I recall th this child calling me old before. Perhaps she will say something else just as inc incorrect. Nep Jr., if Vert tries any funny business, we gotta hold her down. Okay. Uh, V. A bit more. You can do it. Ver. Oh, Bert! You're Bert! B Bert? Bert? That's lame! Weird. Ron, silly, but mostly lame. <laughs> what a cute nickname. Doesn't match her appearance at all. Huh? Am I Ron? She's not Bert? Are you mad at me, Bert? Goodness, that's quite enough. All of you. Um, Bert, please don't take it the wrong way. That's the first time. Huh? Up until now, everyone has seen me as someone older and called me more polite things, like Miss Vert. This is the first time anyone has ever given me such a cute, useful nickname. Huh? Are you crying? 
Well, first been moved to tears. I didn't think she could do that at her age. What? Don't cry, Burn. Oh, I absolutely love you, Pishi. Yeah, th that hurts. Don't hug me, stop dying. I can take this one back to Lamebox with me, right? I'm allowed to do such a thing, right? Heck no! She just came back to us! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Pishi is our baby, you see. Such cruel rejections. Oh, I know. I will trade Nepgear back to you for Pishi. Nep Jr.'s already my kid sister! Wow, Vert. You said something so horrible about me in such a casual way. Vert, let me go! Uh, keep calling me Vert with that adorable little voice. You're gonna kill her! Okay, I will leave them. Wait, will I? Uh. Um, uh, this is strange. I've been to this area before, so why am I... Oh, where am I? You're really pathetic. I agree with you there, but please stop saying mean things and tell me where to go. Screw that! Why should I- why would it, should I help some boring woman who just wants to do boring stuff like apologize? Ugh! No matter what you say, I'm going to apologize to them. That's what I've decided. I think if you get lost here, you'll never find your way to their Basilicom. No, I can make it. I have to. Um, probably this way. And she's going even deeper in. What am I gonna do? She's boring when she's all positive and crap. In that case, maybe you sh- in that case, maybe you should force her to do something fun. Whoa, you crept up on me! Wait, so you can project your voice into this dimension now? I thought I'd try it out, and just so ha and it just so happened to work. With my power, it's no big deal. Man, your personality really does get crazy different when you're strong. It's the other way around. This is my true nature, whereas my, my weak self is a lie. Whatever, I guess. Is it cool if I force her to do what I want? I don't mind. She'll get her true personality back once her powers return. Hmm. Okay, whatever. It'll be more interesting than letting her wander around lost. Yo, wait up! <laughs> That's right. Over here, over there, all the CPU's nations will be erased. We're home, Kampa! Yay! Welcome back, everyone! Those nuisances are back, too. Just when I'm starting to enjoy my lovey dovey time with Kampa. Oh, Mr. Rat is here! Nuisances? But this is our Basilicom! For a former villain, it's rather bold of you to come here so often. Former? Don't make me laugh, too. Even now, I'm planning my next villainous move against you. Doesn't that make your coming over here even worse? Why are you here? I've come to see my guardian angel of love, Kampa, of course. If she weren't here, I'd have turned this whole place into a swap of gore. Mr. Mouse, you really should be nicer to Nep Nep and my other friends. You got it, too! My sole purpose is to spread peace and love to everyone! This rodent's routine has grown quite boring, has it not? Wow, it's a mouse! Huh? Who's this brat, too? You don't know her? Nope! When you're as famous as me, you can't remember each and every one of your fans' faces, too. Well, um, she's not a fan of yours. Mouse! Mousy, mousy, mouse! Uh, stay back, would ya? This is why I don't like kids. No self-restraint, I swear, too. Mouse fur! Rip, rip, rip! <laughs> Yay, I got so many fuzzies! Wow! Mr. Rat, your back has a big bald spot now. Hey, that's black. That's... That's bad behavior. That's bad behavior. Don't pull out the filthy rat's fur. Hey, filthy too. Besides, the impulse hair pulling you did. Uh, are you... You lord? Huh? No, I'm P and PC. Um, so... When she transforms, she becomes yellow heart. As I thought. Crap, too. Is the rest of my life going to be full of fur ripping? You ripped this fur out before? Yep. It's so funny because the fur comes out eat so easily. They do say that as you get older, your hair falls out more readily. I'm still spunky and young, too. My breath's just crazy strong. Uh, my fur just started to grow back in nice and thick, too. At this rate, my fur line is doomed. If you love your nasty hair so much, then you can stop coming over here. But then I won't be able to see Kappa. 
Unless... I'll have Kampa tell the brat to stop raping my fur out. Kampa too! P seems to have so much fun when Mr. Mouse is around. I hope you'll become friends with her. Er, do you have to say that with such an angelic smile? Choo! Yay, mouse friends! No! Oh. Any more? Thank you. Okay. That'll be it for this episode. I'm going on a break to make sure I get the true ending to this thing. So... I'll have a different playthrough going for a while. Quite a while, if it takes as long as I think it might. So, until next time, this is the Gamer Girl, signing off. Bye-bye.